As the new year approaches, are you considering your violin goals in the midst of everything else of life? Sometimes it's easy to put everything else as a priority over the violin, but then your violin dream never becomes a reality and it doesn't get the attention it deserves. It's important to prioritize and plan for your violin practice. Where are you at today in your violin journey? What can you do currently on the violin? What are you confident with? What songs can you play? What questions can you answer? What techniques can you articulate? Jot down a few of these or maybe take a before video of you playing some things so that you can measure your progress at the end of a period of time. Why are you on this violin journey? What's at the heart of the motivation for your violin playing? What first inspired you to play? Okay, think about why you picked this violin up in the first place. If you don't know why you're playing, you're probably not going to stick with it very long because learning to play the violin is hard work. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and take some time to answer these questions. What first inspired you to pick up the violin? What do you enjoy about the violin? What is your favorite musical genre? Where do you see yourself in regards to violin in five years? What can you invest in your violin journey? Before I asked you this, I wanted to know how passionate you are about learning to play the violin. Because if you're not committed, you're not gonna be willing to put forth the time and effort needed. Commit to investing in your violin journey by scheduling a set practice time each day. Take private lessons, join a local ensemble, attend local concerts in your area that will inspire you. Watch other violinists play, research the music that you're working on. All of these are ways that you can invest in your violin journey and help you progress. Now that you know what you can invest, it's time to pick three goals that you think you can achieve in a short amount of time. I would suggest choosing about a three month time period for setting your goals. Now, be careful not to over, um, overestimate what you can accomplish in three months, okay? I'm one to set my goals way above and beyond and then I'm always disappointed because I don't get there, okay? So here's what you do. You look back to when you started your violin journey or, or maybe look back to a recital recently and then think about what you've accomplished since then and use that as a gauge to help you decide what kind of goals you can set for yourself. And then of course, there are several types of goals you can set. You could choose to learn a new piece of repertoire. You could choose to work on a new technique or improve an existing one. You could increase your practice time or you could work on improving your attitude or your perspective towards your own playing. Perhaps you wanna boost your courage so that you can confidently play for others. Now that you have your goals picked out, you need a plan of action to carry these out in a timely manner. Now I suggested three months time. So let's say you wanna learn a new piece of music and this piece of music is 90 measures long. You're going to need to learn 30 measures each month. And then you can break that down even more to learn seven or eight measures each week. And then it doesn't feel so intimidating, does it? Learning that 90 measure piece suddenly became very achievable. By breaking your goals into step-by-step -step actions, it makes them so much less intimidating. Let me know what your goals are. I'd love to hear what kind of violin goals you're going to pursue.